Hello and hi everyone. Now we are in the probability involving combination and permutation. So for the first example here, let's consider the example number one. We have four letters are chosen randomly from the word computer. Find the probability of all the four letters chosen are consonant. B, the letter C must be chosen. And C, the letters P and M must be chosen simultaneously. So for the solution of the first uh, event or first question, let A be the event of the four letters chosen are consonant. So we have the number of sample space here is we have we have eight letters and we have to choose only four so we have eight choose four which equal to 70 so we have 70 elements for the number of sample space and we also have the number of even a we have we have five consonant we have five consonant and we have only we have choose we have to choose only four consonant out of five so we have five here the element of even a and thus the probability of a is if, if you remember we have n a over n s so we have five over 70 which in which which uh, equals to one over 14 so what does it mean by five here? It means that it, it, it refers to the all the consonants from the word computer. So we have C, we have M, we have P, we also have T and R. So we have five consonants here. That's why we have five and we only have to choose four out of five. So the answer for, for question A is one over 14. Now, for the second one, let B be the event that C, the, the letter C, is chosen. So, and B, or the number of element of, of event B, is equal to, um, we have to choose C first. So, we have only one choice of C. So, one choose one. And then we have another seven number, and we have to choose... Uh, three out of seven so we have seven choose three and so we have here we have equal to 35 ways to to choose so thus the probability of b is equal to the number of b so 35 over overall number which is 70 which equal to one over two and for the c or the third question, let C be the event of choosing the letters M and P simultaneously. So the number of elements of C should be, we have we have uh, one for M and one for P. So we have two choice. So we have to choose two out of two. And we have another six letters and we have only uh, two uh, seats. So... Uh, we have 2C2 for, for the letters M and P, and we have another two seats to be filled from another six letters. So we have six choose two, which equal to 15. Thus, the probability of even C occurred is equal to 15 over 70, which equal to 3, 3, over 14 for example number two let's say we have three red marbles we have four yellow marbles and two green marbles are arranged in one row on a table find the probability of all the four yellow marbles must be arranged together all the four yellow marbles are not together and the third one, the green marbles must be in the first and last position of the row. So for the solution of 
A, first we have, uh, we need to find the number of sample space. So uh, we have, we have all together nine marbles and we have, uh, we have identical marbles. We have, we have three, we have three red marbles and we also have four yellow marbles and also we have two green marbles. So we have nine factorial over three factorial times four factorial and two factorial and it leads us to 1260 numbers of sample space so for even a even that four yellow marbles are arranged next to each other so the number of even of a is equal to we have uh, six six factorial over over three factorial times two factorial which leads us to 60 number of even a thus the probability of even a is just it's just an a over an s so we have so we have equal to uh, 60 over 1260 and it gives us 1 over 21 so what does it mean by by six factorial here? It means that it means that we can we, we may illustrate it the idea like this. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine seats to be filled. And the the, the, the four yellow marbles are arranged next to each other. So so we imagine that these four this for first seat is just for yellow marbles and and we may treat them as one unit so we have one two three four five six so we have six unit that can be uh can be a uh, permute uh, to each other so next one a prime or the complement of a the even the even for four yellow marbles are not arranged next to each other so we have the probability of even a complement is equal to one minus the probability of even a so we have we have one minus with one over 21 from previous one so we have 20 over 21 as the answer for this question and next one for the third uh, question we have even b be the event for the green marbles to be in the first and the last position of the row so so we have we have like uh, the first one the first g and we have one two three four five six seven another uh marbles and we have for the last the last one also green so we have this kind of position so for for uh, for the other seats can be include four yellows and three red marbles now so the number of even b the number of even b should be seven factorial so it's just the seven seated seven seats that are alternating to each other and over so we have we have three we have three red marbles that are identical and we also have four yellow marbles that are identical so we have number of even b is equal to 35 therefore thus the probability of even b occurred is such 35 over 1260 which equal to 1 over 36 so that's the answer for all the questions here now for the exercises 
Number one, if you flip a fair coin four times, what is exactly or what is the probability that you will get exactly two tails? And number two, number two, there are seven students in a class, which five boys and two girls. If the teacher picks a group of three at random, what is the probability that everyone is in the group is a boy? So uh, you may discuss this example or these exercises with your lecturer. So good luck and see you later. Bye bye. Thank you for watching.